because we're going to be talking about texting GM versus writing out good morning or other like other little things like that in within texting or, or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so a debate was sparked on Twitter about texting the letters GM versus just writing it, writing it all the way out. Um, I assume this is in context of the early stages of dating. Some were saying that they don't understand why it's so hard for people to write it out, that they deserve that extra bit of effort. It's almost as if writing GM is lazy. There were others who felt that it meant the same thing. And if you're bothered about it, it's exactly why you're still single. Uh, so my question to you guys is uh, what side are you on in this argument? Um, GM bothers me if that's the only thing the text message says and slash or if you're like a dry texter in general. You get what I'm saying? Because I can see how that, to me, I would only perceive that as lazy as if, like, you can't really carry a conversation after that, or if you only send GM and then nothing else. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But if, but, you know, sometimes some people do text GM, but then they'll text, you know, something else after that or whatever, and then we can kind of flow that way. So that doesn't bother me. A big part of me kind of feels like this is extra. Okay. But I also... I also can't think of any situation where I've ever just text GM though. <laughs> like, because I feel like if I'm sending you a good morning, like if I'm sending you a good morning message, whether I write out good morning or I say uh, GM, like some is gonna come after it. Good morning, how you doing? Good morning, how you sleep? Mm -hmm. Something like that. So I guess for me, the G it isn't so much the GM part, it's the what comes all with it. Because mm -hmm. I don't, I don't feel like GM by itself is just, you know, like, it's just like the worst thing ever. Does that make sense? Yeah. It makes sense. And I think for me, it's just like, it's, it's, this, it's saying the same thing. As far as I'm concerned, yeah. it's saying the same thing. The yeah. intent is there to open up conversation at the beginning of the day, say, you know, I'm thinking about you, whatever, whatever. Um, so yeah. I don't really have an issue with somebody texting me GM. Um, yeah might have a problem with somebody constantly texting me WID. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's a little different. I, I think from, I, I think it's a little bit different. I don't know. I don't know if it's the same thing so. or not. What do you guys yeah. think? Yeah, I, I think, <laughs> I, I think it is a little different because like, you know, for me, as someone who does not like to get up early, if I'm up early enough to text you good morning, that is an effort on my part. <laughs> so, but <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if you can't, kind of like what you were saying, Brandon, like, I feel like if you just constantly say, what you doing, what you doing, what you doing, W-I-D, like, that tells me you can't hold a conversation. And, right. you know, if you're sending this all throughout the day, then, okay, that may present a problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, My issue with that is it's like, I don't mind that too much early on because we're still getting to know each other, whatever mm -hmm. else, or specifically getting to know each other's schedules. Mm -hmm. But after a period of time, and you know my schedule is the same every week, mm -hmm. somebody text me what you're doing in the middle of the day if you know I'm at work. I know that. Or if you know, you know, sorry, if you don't normally do X, Y, Z around this time, because I've been doing it the last three days this week, then you know what I'm doing. <laughs> like, because I don't like WYD as a conversation starter. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't bother yeah. me too much in the midst of a conversation, but if that's always how you start a conversation, that, that really blows me. Yeah. Huh. Hmm. I yeah, feel like I, I would be the opposite. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, because I feel like, you know, like that's you that's to start off the conversation. I feel like it would mm -hmm. bother me like if we're in the mid conversation and you keep asking asking me that. Like well, yeah, the conversation. I don't want you to keep asking, no. But I'm saying, well, you know, sometimes you'll start talking about something, texting about something completely unrelated to whatever is going on that day. Like say mm -hmm. you're texting each other, whatever the latest gossip, whatever it is, or something that happened. You know, the night before or whatever and then it's like okay hey now what you doing you know what i'm saying like sometimes that's not always how the combos start okay yeah, yeah. Okay. I guess, yeah. well uh now i wanted to ask you know when when they initiate the conversation with a good morning text is it wrong to one day reciprocate and say good morning yourself because i know from personal experience that when that happens like and i'm and i'm somebody who likes to reciprocate and likes to you know give back the same energy that you're given. Um, and I think it's happened to me a couple of times where people will text you, good morning, good morning, good morning, day after day. And then when you return it, it all of a sudden it's like a switch comes off and they, 
they either ghost or they just <laughs> they're just their energy is different and they're in the process of ghosting or something like you know what I'm saying so what are your what are your thoughts about that have you had any um experience with something like that or like I am confused a little bit I'm not yeah. fully following so it's like so say I text you good morning mm-hmm. and you text me good morning back and then I fall back or if you start texting me good morning first if I start texting you good morning first. So it's about who initiates the conversation. I don't know. That doesn't bother me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, but that's mm-hmm. weird that people, I hate men. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, like, I mean, but that has happened and it's so annoying because it's like, all right, do I like, cause I feel like what the, what the message is or what I'm feeling is now I'm no longer being chased. I'm now, I'm now, you know, caught or whatever, if you want to use that analogy. Yeah. And there's really no effort to, to really, you maintain know, it kind of, to maintain yeah. the conversation yeah. or to maintain some kind of a relationship because you've already shown that you're uh, invested. Well, that is trash. Yeah. That's, <laughs> hey, man, that's, I'm sorry. It's, it's getting weird. <laughs> 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 No, oh, I have man. Not experienced that. Oh my gosh. I want to pull up on somebody for you. Yeah, I've had oh, that God. happen a couple times. In fact, like last week. But um, I'm sorry. Just send me his ad and then we're going to roll up. Let <laughs> <Listen>. <laughs> Insert Maddie Jeff. Let's go. Yeah, <laughs> okay. for real. For real. 